Yo, I'm throwing this in the beginning just because it's a couple things I forgot to mention. But yo, his tilt skill, you cannot cancel out of it whatsoever. So once it's done with that animation, that's the that's the quickest you can move. So that's one thing really quick. And then also his DP, it can cancel or excuse me, it can counter ults. So I can't make the opponent ult at me. I would have to be sitting here just waiting, but it can counter ult. So if somebody's doing an ult at you and you DP, you'll just kick them right in the air. But <laughs> yeah, um, back to the video. Yo, 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 today we're going to be going over little tips and tricks for tanking. So this isn't, this is not a combo guide. I want y'all to know that this is little tips for those who have tanking, for those who haven't gotten to play with him and want to know things about him before they touch him so this is gonna help you you know you may or may not have seen something in here so make sure you watch the full video so yeah let's go ahead and get straight into it so the first thing I'm wanted to show y'all is his DP so this DP is basically a very very long recovery so look at I'm a statue right here so <laughs> this is the quickest I'm able to move out of here so when you use that make sure that you're safe make sure that it makes sense don't don't just do it out of nowhere so i want to show y'all this right here so if you ult after his dp make sure that you're spamming r2 so you can get it out as quickly as possible so you can actually connect it so you see that i connected it right here but if i wait a little bit like if i wait after he's in the air and he starts falling a little bit then it's not gonna connect bro so look this one i press it right here and you see that wasn't even long look he he's in the air right here and it still falls so you want to press it when he's going up into the air like you want to spam it after it so you can get it out immediately so another good thing is i'm sure a lot of y'all have probably already seen this but for those of you who haven't, I'm going to show you, sir. <laughs> a lot of people yesterday, what they were going to be doing was grabbing after the DP. Why did I just jump? All right, so what they were doing is grabbing after the DP because it's clean. It's a nice way to end it, end the little combo. So that's something, you know, you may or may not have seen, but I just wanted to throw that in here. So um, what was the next thing? All right, so after the tilt, so when you DP, oh, excuse me. So a lot of people want to DP like in the combo or whatever, but make sure that you do it after the tilt. So let me show you what guys what I'm showing about, talking about. You see how I, I did it after his tilt? So this is his regular triangle. This is his tilt right here. So you want to make sure that you DP after the tilt if you're doing a mid combo. Because if you do it right here after his regular one, there's like a small window that they're able to block. Because yesterday I was playing and I kept wondering how are they blocking me mid combo. And the reason I didn't understand is because just like a lot of people, I was basically just spamming and then going into the DP. And then once I was in the air, I was spamming again. But that was like the first, I will say like the first hour or whatever. And then I realized, okay, they're blocking after this. But if I go ahead and tilt, like if I go into that and then if I go into the tilt and then do it, they're not able to block. So just keep that in mind. So if you're doing this and then you DP, they might block it. So just keep that in mind when you're doing that. And another thing is after the DP, there's a free dash. So let me show you guys. So you see my all my bars are blue right there. So if I DP, you see it's a free dash right there. So another thing is his skill. This is stuns right here. So the opponent is going to fall every single time. You see he's on the ground. Even if I switch and use him as... Uh, support you see Sabito right there he's falling to the ground every single time 
Let's see it again. Oh, excuse me. I was running. Jesus. See, he's going to fall every single time, bro. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk about his heavy. His heavy. There is a fast recovery on it, so you're able to parry. So let's say you miss it, right? And it doesn't go that far, but it still has a good distance. You know, it's decent. It's like mid-range. You're able to parry, like, almost instantly after. But after his heavy, you have a free dash. Excuse me, it's not free. I don't know why I just said that. But you have a dash, and that's basically all you can do after it. But, you know, a lot of people, what they would do is you know they'll do this or whatever and when the person's falling then they'll heavy and do whatever they do but yeah these are little little small tips if i find any more i will surely let you guys know but let me know what you guys think did you learn anything is there anything i miss you know any important things let me know type it in the comments and i'll make i'll probably be making another part to this later on maybe in a couple of days or so once i you know i really started learning him more but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys learned something and if you're new to the channel and you enjoy demon slayer hinokami chronicles content then you want to click away from treating yourself because there's a lot more coming from me and yeah peace